Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. All right, as you can see today, I'm gonna to be playing with all these little bracelets here that I made. This one I didn't make, I bought, but uh, you can kinda, well, I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's like all, the, it's basically unraveling all the little stretchy cord in it. Like every day I'm, I'm cutting pieces of it off because it's unraveling and I really don't want this freaking thing to explode on me in the middle of nowhere. It's a cool bracelet, but it, you know, it's just the cord's shit. So with these, I used, I think it's kind of the same cord and it is just, look, I mean, look at how stretched out it got. It, there's, there's almost like two beads worth of space in between it. Same with this one. It's all coming apart. There's, there's a massive amount of space in between the beads now and I don't like that. And then this one I made it with this stretch cord, but I didn't do it right. So as you can see, there there's like almost two beads worth of space in between it. That basically was for me not knowing what the hell I was doing. And I rushed to get them done and thought I did a good job. And I have it uh, somewhere in here. I gotta find the, all right. So in here, like this is, this is where I've got it knotted in between here. The big knot is, in between these and then the two ends are out here but it's also starting to unravel so definitely need to redo these i dig them i wear them all the time on my wrists and i'm kind of bummed that they were coming apart so quickly so i watched another video and watched this woman make these things and she actually tied them in such a way that they were super tight together and she said you don't even have to glue it if you do it this way so the way that she did it was like smack in the head obvious the way that i should be doing it rather than the way that i was doing it so i'm going to try it that way today and i just thought that i would bring you along so we're going to start with this one because it's nice and easy and i'm just going to clip that some bitch open and redo it <music> That's that. Now, see how nice and tight that is compared to this. So, now I'm gonna let this sit and dry whilst I go through and do the other one. All right, now you got it all lined up. Now you pull the cord out, this time remembering to give myself a little bit more room. Oh, and I'm right off the bat, I missed the damn hole. Son of a bitch. And it was the very first skull. Okay, perfect. Let me see if I can get the needle through here and save that without having to restrain this whole thing. Okay, I think I got it this time. Crisis averted. Okay. Second one, down. bracelet done. Now we will fix this store-bought one that is splitting apart. I mean look at how, how this was shredding. I mean it was just a matter of time before it all just completely exploded apart. 
So this should be relatively simple. It's just all of these turquoise beads and then the three lava beads. That was interesting. I actually killed the battery, which is only the second time I've ever done that. All right, now this is so easy. I think that I'm gonna go down and grab the ones for my wife that I made and redo those. Okay, so hers aren't that bad off. There's only this one and this was the very first one that I made. And you can see how much of a gap there is. It, there's, there's almost like two beads worth of a gap there. bracelets in under an hour. that answers that question. Okay, so that was the first. That's the first time I've ever had one break while I was trying to make it. All right, kids, that's six bracelets. All done relatively quickly, very painless, with the exception of that last one that snapped, which was my fault. Okay, kids, thus endeth the art lesson. Uh, I made six bracelets in about an hour uh, after having one explode when I was at the end and trying to tie it. And I was trying to stretch it over my wrist to see if it was big enough. And it clearly wasn't because I exploded it all over the place. But it was easy to find all the beads and get it back together. So that's pretty much it. And also I can see how easy it is for me to clear this portion of the new studio desk off to get this overhead. And it all looks pretty good, I think. Well, let me know what you think of the bracelets. I'm sure you really give a shit since most people come here to see photo and video gear, but this is part of my life and this is a daily vlog. So again, let me know what you think of the bracelets. Let me know how this looks overhead and now that I've got this all situated with the new equipment and everything. So that's all I've got. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember kids, forward and up.